What is up you guys, it is Reese, and today I'm doing a very casual but I think important video where I don't even know how to explain this. So basically I'm just going to show you the things that I do and discuss the things that I do on making myself kind of a better person from the inside out, kind of working on my mental health and mental resiliency and just all the things you want to see from like an outside perspective because there's a lot of stuff that goes on up here 24 7 all the time and even if I were to do absolutely nothing all day in the physical sense I'm constantly working on myself up here and especially for the past couple days I've been very stressed and anxious and there's just so much chatter going on inside my head and there's certain things I do and try to work on that are actual processes and like actual workouts but you just don't see them. They're all going on up here. So I thought it was important to discuss it because I'm constantly working on myself trying to make myself better but also just combat my own anxieties and stresses and stuff like that which I think we all are doing all the time. So yeah, these are the things that I'm constantly doing but you don't see it. They go on up here. So like I mentioned, the past couple days I've been extremely stressed. There's a lot of big things I'm trying to work towards in my life and there's a lot of outside circumstances that are making it very difficult, you know, coronavirus being one of them but just a lot of things and it makes me very stressed because of course, there's uncertainties, your anxiety gets all flared up, and you're like, what if? What if this doesn't happen? What if this goes wrong? So I've just been trying to basically keep myself calm and try to talk myself through things and work on not mentally imploding. So like right now, I've already cried like two or three times this morning. In the past couple days, I cried like five times. I'm also on my period, so my emotions are very volatile and everything makes me cry. So there's that. <laughs> but more or less, I've just been frustrated. Frustrated because I have a lot of unknown answers about things therefore I have a lot of anxiety so the thing I'm doing right now is I'm actually writing down on a piece of paper on one side I wrote what am I anxious about on the other side I wrote what can I do about it so my first tip is just to write things down journaling I've been trying to force myself to do because sometimes I'm just lazy and don't want to journal and I always beat myself up over not journaling so I'm like this would have helped you and you want to be sitting here dwelling in your own anxiety journaling writing things down doing this specific thing right here is very very helpful if you're like me and you just constantly overthink you have about five different voices in your head telling you different things and it's very hard to not listen to the negative voices in your head so taking them out of your head onto a piece of paper helps you more rationally look at your problems and then like i said i wrote down what am i anxious about and then what can i do about it Usually the solutions are pretty simple, or at least it gets you a good stepping stone into finding solutions to these things. Because a lot of times we just blow things out of proportion. We just make things so much more dramatic and we're thinking with our emotions rather than our rational thoughts. So one at a time, I'm finding the things I'm anxious about, writing it down, and then writing down what can I do about it. And some things you can't do anything about. There's so much uncertainty, but just getting it down on a piece of paper and then telling myself, Look, you can't do anything about it right now. You don't know, the world is unknown, and you just have to sit back and relax. That helps me get out of the mindset that is just constantly repeating in my head, you know, all these anxieties, and I actually now have it down, I can read to myself, look, you can't do anything about it, and that's okay. So if you don't already journal, get yourself a diary and start doing it. It's especially helpful at night when I go to lay down and go to sleep, and then again, all the voices start coming, and I'm like, all right, let's, let's get this sorted out, let's get these out. It's taking your mental reality into a physical form. Does that make sense? I feel like that I can literally feel the anxieties coming out of me onto the piece of paper. All right, so now I'm gonna journal, and on top of doing, you know, that thing I just did with writing out my anxieties or just writing out my thoughts and feelings I like to also do a gratitude list and script so starting with the gratitude list very straightforward I'm just writing down things that I'm grateful for now I kind of take a spiritual approach to life I don't really follow a religion or believe in any sort of whatever I just believe in the energy that you give out to the universe is what you get back so you constantly have to work on being positive and saying positive things to yourself whether that be in your head or through writing things out because if you put positive energy out to the universe that's what you get back so if you're like me and have constant anxieties and constant negative thoughts this is a full-time job trying to take all of 
those thoughts and flip them around into a positive script and telling yourself things will work out, things will get better, things are okay, things are happening in your favor. Like, you kind of feel like you're lying to yourself because you are, but it's basically just faking it till you make it and taking, like I said, all those negative thoughts and just slapping them out of the way and replacing it with something positive. So starting off with a gratitude list is a good foundational start because it gets you in the positive mindset. Now, before you brush this off and you're like, you can't think of anything to be grateful for and nothing good happens to you, that is false. Find any little positive thing that has happened to you within the past day, within the past week, whatever, in the past month, it doesn't matter. Anything that you are grateful for, write it down, constantly replay it in your head, and then that gets you off on a positive you know, start, and then you start noticing more things that you're grateful for and more things start coming to you. It's all about just switching your mindset and changing the lenses into finding things that are positive instead of constantly focusing on the negative. So like I said, it could be literally anything, like if your dog was extra cute, if you had a really good meal, if you found five dollars on the ground, like anything you can be grateful for, there's the basics like roof over your head, food on the table, enough money in your pockets to get you through the day, like those things and then like i said once you start focusing on that more starts coming to you and then you realize there's a lot more things to be grateful for and then good things are coming to you and there's more grateful it's just like like i said a constant cycle you put out good energy you get good energy back so starting off with the gratitude list is very important and also sends to the universe that you are grateful for your situation now so you are then prepared to be grateful for whatever you get because if you're not grateful for things happening to you in the now you're never going to be satisfied and you're never going to be happy with anything that happens to you in the future and again this can be very very hard if you have anxious or depressive thoughts i understand like you can't stop these thoughts from coming to your head but you can control how you react to them so like i said anytime a negative thought comes in push it out of the way and replace it with something positive. Even if you have to repeat it to yourself a million and one times, do it. Because sooner or later, you'll start believing it and good things actually will start happening to you. So I'm starting off with a gratitude list. The next thing I mentioned was scripting. So scripting is kind of like a manifestation process where you write things that you want to happen to you in the future, but you write them in the present tense. So say, for example, you really wanted to get into your dream college or something like that. You are writing out kind of like a little story or like a scene from a movie where you are in first person point of view in the present tense, that thing has already happened to you or is happening to you in that moment. Like I mentioned, kind of just faking it till you make it. So you're writing out this scenario, how you would feel, the things that would happen to you, the people you would talk to, what you would be wearing. Like it's super specific with the details of whatever it is you want in the present tense as if you already have it. This goes back to the energies. It puts you in the moment, gives you the emotions and feelings that you would have as if you already had it and sends that energy out into the universe so that you can receive it. The universe sees you having that positive energy, having that thing that you want and responds to that. Again, I wanna make this clear. This can be very hard to do and you can get super cynical if you are depressed or anxious and be like, what is this buffoonery? Like, what are you talking about? I have days all the time where I'm like, this is bullshit. This is not going to work. But again, I have to constantly just reinforce positive thoughts into my brain. Just this morning, I was having a crying moment where I'm like, everything is going wrong. This is so hard. This is difficult. And I just have to like snap myself out of it, do all these things and constantly tell myself to just keep thinking positive. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to write myself a gratitude list, kind of try to relieve this anxiety in my chest, try to focus on positive things, and then script out the things that I'm anxious about that aren't, you know, currently have answers and write them out as if they, everything is good, everything's already happened. I don't know how to finish that sentence. Okay. So one of the things that can be a problem when I'm already in a negative mindset or I'm feeling specifically anxious or negative that day is my appearance. Seeing myself in the mirror and then you guys probably know the thoughts that come to your head that say you're ugly, you're fat, you're this or that. And, you know, it can be really hard. Um, it just adds to the momentum of things. I'm already feeling bad and then I see myself and it's just like another sucker punch to the face. It's very easy to shit all over yourself and your appearance when you're already in a negative mindset. So seeing myself in the mirror sometimes puts me into flight or fight mode. So one thing I do is just avoid mirrors and I'm being dead serious because I don't want to focus on the negative things so I just don't look at myself in the mirror. But that's really hard when I have like five mirrors in my room and bathroom. Um, so the next thing I do is even if I'm just doing nothing, I'm at home, is do something to make myself feel better in a physical sense. So instantly putting on my eyebrows Every day, I do it no matter what because it makes me feel like me and it makes me feel prettier and it makes me feel more complete in the face. The other day, I straightened my hair after I showered so that wasn't something I would have to worry about. My hair looking a certain way and like 
just doing something for yourself to make you feel better. It's okay if you want to put on makeup or do your hair or whatever. You don't have to accept yourself in the natural state. I'm going to say that now. Like, you don't have to accept yourself like that. You can work towards it, but if you're not at that point in time, like, that is okay. And I understand how easy it is to fall into the rabbit hole of self-deprecation when you are feeling bad or off or whatever. So, like, right now, I'm in this big men's t-shirt, and although it doesn't look the most flattering, I really like it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel comfortable, and I kind of like that it doesn't have, like, a shape or whatever like that. And it's specifically hard for me when I get on camera, and then I have to watch back the footage, and then I realize I don't like how I look, and then I get super stressed, and then I think everyone sees me that way and I have to constantly remind myself that I see myself in a distorted point of view a lot of the times and people don't see all the flaws that I see because I stare at myself in the mirror or in the camera a lot of the times and it's very easy to pick out all your flaws when other people won't really notice them. Like you might have noticed but I have this big pimple brewing on my chin and then a rash right here from wearing a mask all the time at work. I'm not really wearing any mascara or anything but that's something that really I would only notice because I put on mascara most days and yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm not confident a lot of the times. I do not like my appearance a lot of the times, but again, it's just taking those negative thoughts and just kicking them out of the way and replacing them with positive things. If you have to do things on a physical level to make yourself feel better, go right ahead, do that. That is fine. One major thing that caused me... One major thing that causes me a lot of anxiety, especially when I'm filming videos, is a lot of times I think I have a double chin, okay? I'm going to expose myself right now. I think I have a double chin and I go back and refilm things five, ten times. This clip, it, me talking to my mirror right now, this is my fourth take already. And we'll go back and see if I like it. So it's working on yourself and it's kind of balancing out between like accepting things how they are and accepting how you look and also doing things to make you feel better and feel more accepting of yourself. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, look at myself in the mirror sometimes, it makes me want to cry, but it's something I'm constantly working on and trying to tell myself, you know, not negative things, make myself feel more positive or look better to please my own self. And you have to remember a lot of the times your self-perception is distorted. One thing I do do a lot is try to take myself out of whatever situation I'm in, you know, kind of, again, distract myself from my thoughts. So right now I'm going outside to play with my dogs because my dogs make me very happy. They're very adorable and it can get my mind off things for a little bit. So right now I have this ball that Zoe wants and I'm going to throw it. Look at this nugget. How could you not be happy looking at this dog? Ready? Look at her. How could you not be happy looking at her? Oh my gosh. Look at her running. I didn't even throw it yet. Zoe, I didn't even throw it. Oh, I almost hit her. <laughs> so yeah, doing things to clear my head, taking myself again out of like my mental space by doing something in the physical world. Um, I usually just like to play with my dogs, play with Zoe, take her on a walk, go to the dog park, go to like a Starbucks and just drive around or something, something to just clear my head. And it's really easy to like overthink when you're in the same environment all the time. So being in my room can make me anxious because what do you know, I'm anxious in my room a lot. So sometimes I literally just need to step out of my physical environment do something different and try to clear my head that way. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. You always got eye boogers though. Come. Excuse me, let me touch your face. Instantly happy looking at this face. Instantly happy. <laughs> One thing I remembered that I do while I'm sitting here waiting for my pasta to cook and scrolling through my phone is that I surround myself with a lot of positive messages through my social media. So I unfollow everyone that doesn't make me feel good on social media. Like I unfollow Instagram models and pretty people that make me question my self-confidence because no harm to them But I'm not in the mental state to see things that are going to make me feel worse about myself So it's as simple as I'm following people. You don't owe them anything I mean follow your friends of course But even people if you know like from school or just from somewhere that are being constantly negative or complaining or whatever Just unfollow them like it's really not that big of a deal All right, if things aren't serving me and aren't giving me positivity or Influencing me in a positive way then I'm just gonna unfollow them. So like on Twitter Specifically, I follow a lot of like people who do tarot cards and people who are into astrology and stuff Now that might not be everyone's thing and it's not like I really do those things myself But they're the type of accounts that are constantly giving out positive messages and affirmations and sending out either like a tarot card read or pool that gives out a positive message or kind of gives me like a little bit of hope whether you believe it or not those are things that I see on my feed constantly and they're constantly 
giving me positive things, giving me a little bit of hope, making me feel okay about situations, um, and giving me affirmations and stuff. Or I follow people that are actually influencers in a positive way and are doing things and talking about things that I like and pretty simple just following things that are positive and unfollowing anything or anyone that does not make me feel good to kind of continue on to that point like i said i don't like to follow anyone that's like constantly negative or giving me negative vibes or whatever is i also don't like to engage in conversation that is just negative like complaining shit talking gossiping definitely don't do i make it like an active point in my life to not out loud like complain to people or just get involved in like where everyone's just complaining about their life problems or especially like going to work like I know I'm going to work later so it's easy just for everyone to like complain about the managers or the customers or whatever and I don't ever like to try to put myself in those situations if I'm just at work and people are complaining around me I just kind of stand back and listen like I don't like to engage in it or try to like change the subject or turn something around and again it's really easy just like shit talk and complain and just complain about life whatever but I try to make it a point not to because going back to like sending out good vibes into the universe if you're constantly complaining and drawing that negative energy in then like negative things are going to happen to you so I try to stick to like speaking positively about things or just not engaging in that type of stuff at all I hate gossip I will never like put myself in gossip or like talk about other people behind their back or whatever like sometimes something obviously happens like a manager does something rude or whatever discuss it move on I don't try to like dwell in any drama or negative negative things very simple and I know it's kind of not simple if you are surrounded by negative people but if you are then you need to find some new people to hang around with also this pimple is just getting bigger by the second Okay, so it's been like a day since I filmed this video, that's why I look a little bit different, and I was just talking throughout the day and just didn't realize that I didn't wrap up the video as I normally do, because I forgot to film an outro, so this video is also really long, sorry if you made it this far, cool, thanks for listening to me talk for so long. But I just kind of wanted to make one final point, and it's something like I've mentioned, the whole basis of this video is things that I work on on a daily basis on the inside here, is comparison and comparing your life to other people's lives, especially now in a world where everything Everyone's life is on display all the time and we make it to seem that things are always perfect and pretty and amazing and as you can tell, obviously, just for me as an example, things aren't always perfect and pretty. And comparing myself is a major problem that I have. I, I easily get super stressed and see other people's lives and you know, compare my own progress or my own skills or my just even the way I look, the way I live life, the way I edit videos, like every single thing in my life, I easily compare myself to other people's versions of it. And I have to just remind myself that it is ridiculous to compare your life to other people because you are completely different human beings in different circumstances. You have different minds, you have different environments, you have different goals and whatever like you can never compare yourself to someone equally because you're never going to be the same as a different person so yeah especially being on youtube or in a, any sort of creative field um that shit is hard i struggle a lot on youtube because i never think i'm good enough because i'm seeing other people do things that i want to do or i want to you know emit the same vibes or whatever or go on the same path that they are on and then it gets really hard because I'm like battling between like wanting to be authentic but then my authentic self I don't like sometimes and it's like well they're doing really well why am I not doing really well they seem really happy why am I not happy like why can't I get my videos to look like that and not just on a YouTube level on like all aspects of life this is things that go on in my head. So I'm um, just trying to always remind myself that I need to focus on myself. Like a lot of the times I will get off of social media. TikTok, I had to just delete from my phone for a while because just on a physical appearance level, like I compare myself to a lot of pretty people out there, but even just, you know, people making aesthetic things and framing it in the pretty picture frame and making everything seem all right when you have to realize on a deeper level that people have lives outside of a video or phone screen. So trying to just work on not comparing myself and just focusing on my own personal goals. And it is, again, hard because I want to share things with people, especially that's just how I've been programmed for the past couple years is I want to like record everything and film everything and then when I'm not confident about things on a personal level then you don't want to share them with people so 
Um, yeah, just trying not to compare my life to others because obviously everyone has different things and things you don't see going on in the background. Things aren't always perfect. And um, just focusing on myself, myself only, focusing on congratulating myself on the things that I do do that I like that I am proud of and constantly just like reinforcing those negative no nope, reinforcing those positive thoughts in my head so yeah that's kind of it for the video like I said I chatted a lot so thank you if you made it this far hopefully it has helped with anything and I actually really did like this video because even though it is long and chatty I think I made a lot of good points and Hopefully you can see a little bit more into the inside of my life. Like I've just mentioned, not everything is picture perfect on the outside. There's a lot of things that go on in specifically my head that you would never know about um, unless I were to talk about it. So here I am talking about it. Okay, yep, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I never know how to end these things. So good night, good morning, wherever you are. I hope you have a wonderful day.